Hello everyone, my name is Scott Gentry and I'm a product manager here at Cumulo. And today I'm excited to take you through a new demo of all the awesome web UI functionality that has recently been implemented with our shift feature. Now, if you don't know what shift is, shift is a way to move data from Cumulo in its native file format into Amazon S3 in its open object format, which means we don't do anything funky with the objects themselves. There's no proprietary formatting. It's your data, use it how you want, uh, which means that we support all sorts of cool use cases in the cloud, really using S3 as a staging area for things like backing up your data, archiving it from S3 into Glacier, using S3 as a source for collaboration across your company or with external companies, or using S3 for innovation by actually leveraging Amazon native services and marketplace apps like image recognition or video transcoding or even machine learning. So there's lots of cool stuff you can do with your data when you move it into S3. So before we log into the web UI, let's take a look at the data set we're actually going to transfer from Cumulo into S3. I already have an SMB share on my Mac from the music cluster, as you can see down here. And this is the music cluster we're going to log into. I have already populated um, inside of this directory called shift demo source various images such as landscape images, some screenshots, and a few high quality 4K videos. So now let's take a look at our actual bucket we're pointing this data at. Uh, this case is called shift demo inputs and as you can see down here it's empty so nothing's actually been transferred yet. So let's log in. Cool, now we're on the dashboard of the cluster. Let's go over here to the cluster tab and go down to copy to S3 under data movement. So this is the actual shift functionality. So as you can immediately see, there's a list here of transfers that have already taken place. We actually use shift for our Cumulo audit logs where we dog food. You can see the source, the target to S3, the time started, time completed, and the status of the transfer itself. We actually also added in this awesome way to easily view your S3 console. As you can see at the bottom left, there's actually a link that takes you to your console. You have to be logged in already for it to automatically take you there, but this is just an easy way to get to where you're going. And of course we have some actions that show some details of the actual transfer, which we'll get into later. Also, while the job is actually taking place, an abort option will show up here under actions, so you can abort the job if necessary. And you can delete these relationships to clean it up. So let's create a copy. So in this case, we're going to be copying data from my share. And we're going to copy it to shift demo input, which is the bucket that I showed you, and we're just going to use the root of uh, this bucket. Now you need your region, which is US-West-2, and of course you're going to need an access key ID and a secret access key, which I'm going to copy and paste in now. And we also have an advanced tab to add an S3 host name if required, the HTTPS port number if required, the CA certificate if you need one, and different bucketing addressing styles such as virtual hosted or path. Cool. So let's go ahead and kick off this copy. Awesome. So if we sort this, you can see that the copy is initializing and it's starting to copy. So let's take a look at the details. Awesome. So you can see the data is being moved from my share into this bucket that we pointed it at. The copying is taking place. And there's all these cool details down here you can check out as this is taking place. So you can see the overall throughput, the runtime, how much, how long it's taking, the estimation for this to actually complete. It's not a lot of data, so this shouldn't take too long. Uh, various metrics about the data itself, the files, so there's the number of files being transferred, um, how many have been transferred, how many are remaining, and the directories that we've actually been processing to complete these transfers. So in this case, we have a total of six. Uh, five has been processed and there is one remaining. Now we're just about completed with the actual transfer and it's done. I just wanted to point out that we don't retransfer data that has already been transferred from Cumulo into S3 
from a previous copy job on the same directory. We actually use hashes to keep track of what's already been moved into S3. That's actually what the unchanged metrics are at the bottom in the details that tells us, hey, this data is unchanged, so it's not going to be sent again to S3. And this saves you overall in throughputs and, of course, capacity on the S3 side. So now let's take a look at our S3 bucket to see if it's been transferred effectively. Let's refresh this page. Cool. So you can see down here that we did transfer everything that we needed. We have our images, landscape images. These are all here. That's great. The screenshots and the video files. Awesome. Well, I hope that this was useful in showing you all the cool UI improvements that came along with Shift for this release. We're excited about it. There's lots of cool stuff coming down the pipe related to Shift to expand its overall functionality and hit more use cases. So please stay tuned. Thanks.